In arithmetic, the Euclidean division is the process of division of two integers, which produces a quotient and a remainder. There is a theorem stating that the quotient and remainder exist, are unique, and have certain properties. Integer division algorithms compute the quotient and remainder given two integers, the most well-known such algorithm being long division. Euclidean division and algorithms to compute it are fundamental for many questions concerning integers, such as the Euclidean algorithm for finding the greatest common divisor of two integers, and modular arithmetic, for which only remainders are considered. The operation consisting in computing only the remainder is called the modulo operation. Intuitive example. Suppose that a pie has nine slices and they are to be divided evenly among four people. Using Euclidean division, nine divided by four is two with remainder one. In other words, each person receives two slices of pie, and there is one slice left over. This can be confirmed using multiplication, the inverse of division. If each of the four people received two slices, then four times two equals eight slices were given out in all. Adding the one slice remaining, the result is nine slices. In summary, nine equals four times two plus one. In general, if the number of slices is denoted A and the number of people is B, one can divide the pie evenly among the people such that each person receives Q slices and some number of slices A are less than B are left over. Regardless, the equation R equals BQ plus R holds. If nine slices were divided among three people instead of four, each would receive three and no slices would be left over. In this case the remainder is zero, and it is said that three evenly divides nine, or that three divides nine. Euclidean division can also be extended to negative integers using the same formula, for example minus nine equals four times plus three. So minus 9 divided by 4 is minus 3 with remainder 3. Statement of the theorem. Given two integers A and B, with B 0, there exist unique integers Q and R such that A equals B Q plus R and 0 are less than B, where B denotes the absolute value of B. The four integers that appear in this theorem have been given names. A is called the dividend, B is called the divisor, Q is called the quotient and R is called the remainder. The computation of the quotient and the remainder from the dividend and the divisor is called division or, in case of ambiguity, Euclidean division. The theorem is frequently referred to as the division algorithm, although it is a theorem and not an algorithm because its proof is given below also provides a simple division algorithm for computing Q and R. Division is not defined in the case where B equals 0, C division by 0. For the remainder and the modulo operation, there are other conventions than 0 or less than B. C generalized division algorithms. Examples. If R equals 7 and B equals 3, then Q equals 2 and R equals 1, since 7 equals 3 times 2 plus 1. If R equals 7 and B equals minus 3, then Q equals minus 2 and R equals 1, since 7 equals minus 3 times plus 1. If R equals minus 7 and B equals 3, then Q equals minus 3 and R equals 2, since minus 7 equals 3 times plus 2. If R equals minus 7 and B equals minus 3, then Q equals 3 and R equals 2, since minus 7 equals minus 3 times 3 plus 2. Proof. The proof consists of two parts. First, the proof of the existence of Q and R, and second, the proof of the uniqueness of Q and R. Existence consider first the case B less than 0. Setting B equals minus B and Q equals minus Q, the equation R equals B Q plus R may be rewritten R equals B Q plus R and the inequality 0 R less than B may be rewritten 0 R less than B. This reduces the existence for the case B less than 0 to that of the case B greater than 0. Similarly, if R less than 0 and B greater than 0, setting A equals minus A Q equals minus Q minus 1 and R equals B minus R. 
the equation R equals BQ plus R may be rewritten as equals BQ plus R, and the inequality 0R less than B may be rewritten 0R less than B. Thus the proof of the existence is reduced to the case of 0 and B greater than 0 and we consider only this case in the remainder of the proof. Let Q1 and R1, both non-negative, such that R equals BQ1 plus R1, for example Q1 equals 0 and R1 equals A. If R1 less than B, we are done. Otherwise Q2 equals Q1 plus 1 and R2 equals R1 minus B satisfy A equals BQ2 plus R2 and 0 R2 less than R1. Repeating this process one gets eventually Q equals QK and R equals RK such that R equals BQ plus R and 0 R less than B. This proves the existence and also gives a simple division algorithm to compute the quotient and the remainder. However this algorithm needs Q steps and is thus not efficient. Uniqueness Suppose there exists Q, Q, R, R, with 0 R, R, less than, B, such that R equals B Q plus R and R equals B Q plus R. Adding the two inequalities 0 R less than, B, and minus, B, less than minus R, 0 yields minus, B, less than R minus R, less than, B, that is, R minus R, less than, B. Subtracting the two equations yields, B equals, thus B, divides, R minus R. If R minus R, 0 this implies B, R minus R, contradicting previous inequality. Thus, R equals R, and B equals 0. As B 0, this implies Q equals Q, proving uniqueness. Other proofs Some proofs of the algorithm rely on the well-ordering principle. Effectiveness Generally, an existence proof does not provide an algorithm to compute the existing object, but the above proof provides immediately an algorithm. However, this is not a very efficient method, as it requires as many steps as the size of the quotient. This is related to the fact that it only uses addition, subtraction and comparison of the integers, without involving multiplication, nor any particular representation of the integers, such as decimal notation. In terms of decimal notation, long division provides a much more efficient division algorithm. Its generalization to binary notation allows to use it in a computer. However, for large inputs, algorithms that reduce division to multiplication, like newton raphson one are usually preferred, because they need a time which is proportional to the time of the multiplication needed to verify the result. Independently of the multiplication algorithm which is used, generalizations. In other domains Euclidean domains are defined as integral domains which support the following generalization of Euclidean division. Given an element R and a non-zero element B in a Euclidean domain R equipped with a Euclidean function D, there exists Q and R and R such that R equals B Q plus R and either R equals zero or D less than D. Unlike in the integer case, Q and R need not be unique. Examples of Euclidean domains include fields, polynomial rings in one variable over a field, and the Gaussian integers. The Euclidean division of polynomials has been the object of specific developments. See polynomial long division. Polynomial greatest common divisor hashtag Euclidean division and polynomial greatest common divisor hash pseudo dash remainder sequences. Generalized division algorithms The division algorithm admits a number of generalizations, some of which are listed below. First generalization given integers, with there exist unique integers and with such that, especially, if then, in this case, is called the least absolute remainder. As an application of this generalization, the original Euclidean algorithm for integers can be slightly sped up. Second generalization given integers, and with and let be the modular multiplicative inversive, then there exist unique integers and with such that. This result generalizes Hensel's odd division. The value is the n residue defined in Montgomery reduction.